Hello my children, welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video we are going to get a taste of inheritance. The next video is going to talk about it officially, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek and basically I'm going to teach you how to do something. You might not necessarily understand all of the whys, but by the end of the series you'll have it down. So what exactly are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the proper way to give objects methods when it comes to using constructors. So that's going to be cool, but you know what else is super cool? Getting a job because you go to a good coding bootcamp such as Dev Mountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so first let's talk about the first way you would think to create a method on all the instances of this user constructor. So you would probably go in here and say this dot output stuff and assign it a function. And inside of this function, you might just do a console log and put some stuff out on the screen. So you might do the name and the, int uh, that's not what I wanted, in interest. We're going to prefix this with the uh, this keyword and let's give it a try. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and say me dot output stuff. Do a refresh and you can see we get that information down here. It says Caleb and it has the interests. We can customize this such as so, do a refresh, my name is Caleb. <laughs> That's a little better. And this works, obviously, because we just did it. And you should have a similar thing. So you should say you dot output stuff and refresh. And look at that, you got the same thing. Now the problem here is actually not really a problem if you're working with really simple applications like we are here. Now, if you're going to scale to very large applications, the problem is that every time we create a new user, we're creating a copy of this method. Well, as you might know, methods can become very large and we can create lots of objects. So we're basically wasting memory. The fix for this is to put this method on the parent object for these users. And how exactly do we do that? Well, outside of this constructor, what we're going to do is we're going to say user with the capital U, so to refer to this constructor, and say user dot prototype dot output stuff. And that's actually a terrible name, so I'm just going to call it greet. And we're going to assign a function to this, put a semicolon at the end there. And we can do the console log in here. And what we'll do is basically just say the same thing, like so. Now what we can do is we can call that function greet and do a refresh. And look, it works exactly the same way. Now this is off topic, but you also have the option of just returning some value and then console logging it down here. That doesn't really have anything to do with inheritance, but it's just a side note. There's always question of whether you should console log inside of the method or if you should do it on the outside. It's generally preferred to do it on the outside, but this is simpler. But this function is limited because all we can do is console log. If we wanted to take that value and put it in as an argument somewhere else, then this method's not gonna work so well. But enough blabbering, back to the point, basically, this is going to be one method that all of the objects are going to have access to. So I have access to it, you have access to it, but there's only one method actually created. That means we can replace this with this new and improved method and save on our memory. Cool. So taking a look at our objects, you can expand them, go to the prototype, and see this greet function right here. Cool, so that's just a little taste of inheritance. Now we're going to talk about it officially in the next video. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, be sure to subscribe.